Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Disney's Magic Kingdom and we are going to be doing one of the brand new firework dessert parties for Disney's Enchantment tonight. So I figured I'd come out a little bit early and we'll ride some rides, just hang out in the park and enjoy an evening at Magic Kingdom. Anywho's, let's go do this. I cannot ask for a better day to do a dessert party tonight. It's 81 degrees out, and there's nice little wind gust, and it's just a beautiful fall day. There are actually three different types of dessert parties. The dessert party that we're doing today is the treat and seats, where we're gonna actually be sitting down in the Tomorrowland Terrace. Right here at the Tomorrowland Terrace is where we're gonna be checking in. And like I said, they have a couple different dessert parties. They have the Disney Enchantment pre-party, the Disney Enchantment treats and seats, the Disney Enchantment after party. And for reservations, you gotta call 407-WDW-DINE and that's how you book it. The different prices for the dessert parties are $94 to $114. $94 being for probably the after party and then the $114 for the treat and seats. And that's the one that we're actually gonna be doing. And that includes all of the desserts plus all you care to enjoy beer and wine. And that on its own is a special thing because I think it's the only place where you can actually have a glass of wine or a beer and watch fireworks outside. And I think it's pretty amazing, kind of worth the price tag on its own. For the treat and seeds dessert party, you get to watch the fireworks from the Tomorrowland Terrace and you don't need to leave your table or your chairs and you get to sit down and enjoy, like I said, beer and wine while watching the fireworks. But if you do the before or after uh, party, then you actually come out here and you watch it in the hub area in a reserved standing area. And I don't think you can bring like the beer and wine out here. So that's why I wanted to do the treat and seeds because you kind of just get to sit down and relax and you still get a beautiful view. I have done both of these dessert parties before. Well, not like this dessert party, because this dessert party is completely different. They're actually calling it the Walt Disney World 50th Anniversary Dessert Party. So I'm assuming they're gonna have different treats and snacks, but I have done dessert parties for Happily Ever After. And the view from the hub area is always a great view, but I prefer just being able to sit down and relax and not feel rushed and just enjoy it in the moment. You know what I mean? One of the things I don't like much about actually watching the fireworks from the hub grass is the fact that you get all these light posts in the way and they're actually really bright but the view is like outstanding because you just get a clear shot at Cinderella Castle where if you're actually at the Tomorrowland Terrace you're going to have a little obstruction over there but at least you're going to be comfortable sitting down and relaxing you know what I mean? I just talked to one of the cast members and they said that the earliest you can check in is at 6.30. So we're gonna wanna be there a little bit earlier so we can get the perfect table right next to the guardrail so we can just see a straight shot to the castle. I'm gonna hop on over to Joffrey's in Tomorrowland to get a coffee and look at how busy it is here today. This is the queue for Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin. It's posted 65 minutes. Very, very busy. There's even a line to get on the Carousel of Progress. I usually come over to Joffrey's because it's a shorter line than Starbucks on Main Street and it's good coffee. I love Joffrey's but today it looks like long lines are everywhere. Look at this, Joffrey's is bee bopping. I think I'm gonna try the pumpkin game changer. Pumpkin creme brulee cold brew, a shot of espresso and a pumpkin pie syrup. Sounds amazing. We got the pumpkin game changer. Let's see if it's a game changer here. Not bad, not bad at all. You gotta shake it up a little bit, but I like it. And somebody lost their Darth Vader Pez dispenser. That is such a shame. We gotta turn this in. I don't want someone losing that. You never know, somebody might be looking for it. You never know, they might be coming back to Joffrey's looking for that, so now nobody will throw it away. They gave it to a cast member, and uh, we have to find something to do within the next hour. I wanna ride some rides, but like I said, I wanna make sure I'm early there so I can get the table up close. So maybe we'll see what the carousel's like, or maybe the people mover? I think we're gonna sneak up alongside the castle here and head on back to the carousel. This is one of the prettiest spots in all of Walt Disney World and there's hardly ever anyone back here or over here, right next to the Cinderella Wishing Well. It's just really nice over here. 
don't know why I'm so set at riding the carousel. Uh, it's gonna be a weight no matter where we go, but it's just something I just been wanting to do recently. My favorite part is hearing the music. It's always a different ride with a different song, and I love all the songs that they play. The wait time for the carousel is 25 minutes, but I'm in it to win it today because I just want to ride. I love it. This is one of the best carousels out there, other than Knobles. Knobles will always have my heart. <laughs> I love looking at all the different faces the horses make. Like, look at this guy right here, and then his friend next to him, and then his friends next to him. And look at the one that's actually all the way in the far back that I'll try to zoom in. But he has the most happiest face out there. <laughs> I love it. I'm gonna try to pick the horse with my favorite facial expression. Let's take a look, see what we got here. We got this guy, we got that guy. Oh, I think I found a winner. Oh yes, perfect. This is the one, this is the one, the silver tuna. <laughs> I like it. It's kind of like he's just hanging out and letting the wind hit his face and he's just enjoying life. He reminds me of me. I just want to take my hat off and let my hair blow in the breeze. Oh, time to go. That's the sound. <laughs> oh, I love it. And look at the views. <laughs> I love it. Take a look at the castle. Honestly, you cannot ride the, the carousel and not laugh and smile. It is just so fun. Absolutely amazing. That ride just makes me smile. In the beginning, you heard me say that my heart always belongs to Knobles because Knobles is one of my all-time favorite carousels. They still actually pull out the brass ring from there, and I got a couple of them at home that I'm gonna keep forever, but I just love carousels in general. We have just about an hour before I actually want to get back over there so that we can get there nice and early, and I thought it would be fun to maybe head over and see what Big Thunder Mountain is like. You can't pass up the wildest ride in the wilderness. As long as we have time, I would love to ride that. Also, I wouldn't mind stopping in to uh, the trading post to see if they have any cowpuncher badges back. I haven't been able to replace my cowpuncher badge since I lost it. So uh, we'll see actually if they got more in stock. Wow, the cowpuncher badge stand is gone. Completely missing. That is crazy. I spoke to the cast member in there and they said it's the first time in nine years that they have been all sold out of the badges. And it's an outside vendor, so hopefully they're gonna be restocking soon. But that makes me sad. I lost my only cowpuncher badge. Hopefully they'll bring them back. I'll keep checking up. Looks like the wait time for Big Thunder Mountain is 45 minutes. So we're gonna be rolling the dice, but I think it's doable. Line starts right here. Oh, go ahead. I'm <laughs> sorry. I always forget that Big Thunder Mountain is a ride where you still need to wear your mask because you go indoors for the queue. Looks like we made great time. It only took about 30 minutes and we're about to get on. Look at that. I have ridden Big Thunder Mountain hundreds of times and I never noticed that door over there says Telegraph Office and Morse Code Manager. How cool is that? I think I'm gonna try to keep the hat on, even though I've been warned to best remove them. If any of you folks are wearing hats or glasses, remove them, because this here is the wildest ride in the wilderness! <laughs> Let's see if we get a good look at the castle. There she is. Look at that. Beautiful, isn't it? Oh, boy. 
boy. <laughs> ah! Ah! We almost came into a collision. <laughs> ah! <Whoa! laughs> ah! ah! <laughs> We made excellent timing, but I think we're gonna need to power walk to actually get over there. Just, you know, I, I wanna make sure I get the good seat, you know? So power walk right across the bridge by Splash Mountain. Hi, friends. Hi. Oh, that's really us. Oh, I love the wave. Thank you. <laughs> I'm in a hurry to get things done. Oh, why? Rushing, rushing the last no fun. The parties are really starting to make sense because of the crowds here. Everybody wants to see the new nighttime show and it's still two hours before fireworks. Well, actually it's like an hour and a half, but look at people are lined up already and they got a spot picked out. And if you do the party, then you get to actually not worry about all this and you can actually enjoy it up to the last minute. Or you get to enjoy it in there as you're eating desserts and drinking some good beer and wine. And like I said before, it doesn't matter which one you get because you're guaranteed to have a firework view without the wait. And I'll show you what the uh, hub area is like right now. It's probably all closed off and just waiting for people to come enjoy the fireworks from the party. See, take a look. They got the whole area roped off. And look, a couple of people for the party are already here are getting the good spot and just waiting it out. And it's so much better to wait it out right here than in the crowds on Main Street. Just like me wanting to get here early, so you want to do the same thing if you're actually here for the after party or before party because you want to get the spots closest to the fence in the hub area. They have different check-in areas, so this is for the after party, this is for the before party, and then I think our check-in area is over on the other side and that's for the uh, treats and seats. Looks like I wasn't early enough for the treat and seats. It looks like a long line to check in. So the chances of us getting a good table is slim to numb. And I'm actually a half an hour, well actually almost an hour before check-in. Because I said it was 6.30. Check-in on the apps is 7 and it's about 6.15 now. So if you want to get the good seat, you got to be here like an hour early. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. Maybe I might get lucky, depending on how many there are. I mean, it seems like there's a good like maybe 20 seats by the guardrail itself. The rest of them are actually behind it. Thank you. Adult beverages require a special wristband. Oh, it says Disney's Enchantment on it. Well, that kind of got me excited. So you can't get any of the beer or wine unless you have one of these on. And that's really awesome. It's a good way to actually keep things safe. So we're just about checked in and actually a cast member escorts you to a table. So it's not like a race to get to the table first come first serve. I mean, once the front row is all picked up, uh, then of course you'd be going for like the middle rows, but they actually escort you and take you over and give you a reserved table spot. Oh, I think we got ourselves a good table. Thank you, good sir. Wow, look at that guys. <laughs> I am very happy about this view. Now we can grab ourselves something to drink and then go over the desserts. And like I said, they have a nice selection of different beer and wine offerings. And this is everything they got right here. And they actually pour it out for you. And look at that. Fancy, right? I love how we got the blue moon with the oranges. A little hidden Mickey. Very, very cool. And then this is Bud Light. Yes, sir. I think I'll do a Bud Light and then a blue moon later. <laughs> something you can't do often. Drink a beer in front of Cinderella Castle. Cheers, everybody. And take a look at this. When I got back to my table, my friend Georgina brought over a nice little congratulations plate. And isn't that so cool? I don't know if these desserts are on the uh, dessert lineup, but I know it doesn't have that congratulations thing. So thank you, Georgina. I love it. Look at that. 
So the official check-in time was 6.30, and it's now 6.35, and it looks like all the tables that were close to the guardrail are all reserved already. So the only thing that's left over are these ones, and that's what I was talking about. Like, you want to be right there and not here, and we got lucky, and we got, like, a good spot, so I'm happy. And now we're going to check out the desserts. As soon as we walked in, I showed you all the different beers and wines, but now I want to show you some of the other non-alcoholic beverages and then the desserts. The dessert has a huge line, though. A lot of people ran over there and got as many desserts as they could, and you probably want to do that before the fireworks start, so that way you have something to eat while the fireworks are going on. But take a look at this. You got nice, freshly brewed Joffrey's coffee. You got milk, you got strawberry lemonade, unsweet tea, and then you got zero sugar lemonade, and then I think you actually have uh, maybe sparkling cider? Oh yeah, a little sparkling cider. So everyone can cheers to the castle if they wanted to. That's really nifty. Here is a look at all the desserts. We got a chocolate silk pie, an Oreo cheesecake mousse, a chilling chamber pop, chocolate covered strawberries, and then on the bottom of the chocolate covered strawberries, they say the 50th anniversary. I remember these actually used to be happily ever after. They used to say happily ever after at the bottom of them. And then they got a devil's chocolate pudding in the back there. We're gonna make sure we grab a little bit of everything. Oh, and it looks like they're bringing out a uh, fresh Tres Leches cupcake, it looks like. And then we got some uh, cheese and fruit. A lot of good goodies. We've got some firehouse donuts with a uh, strawberry topping. Oh, and then the butterscotch pudding and caramel popcorn. That is my favorite. They serve this in the Crystal Palace and it's amazing. Look at this lineup right here. Isn't it amazing? We got a little bit of all the desserts. We got ourselves a Blue Moon. I already finished one Bud Light and I had to switch over to Blue Moon and I got myself a little red wine. You know, the price tag is $114, so you wanna get the most out of it. And I'm just loving it. Like, look at this. So amazing, isn't it? I am absolutely loving this. And now I'm gonna try some of the desserts. I'm gonna finish drinking my beer. I don't wanna take my orange peels off my Blue Moon though, because I like that it's a little Mickey. And it's just fun to drink out of. Maybe I'll drink it like this. I have already had this butterscotch pudding popcorn from the Crystal Palace and it was so delicious. So I got super excited to see that it was actually here and all of the other desserts look amazing. Like I can't wait to dive into it. The only thing I didn't get is the Oreo cheesecake because I don't like cheesecake that much. But everything else looks pretty phenomenal and I ended up putting a little of the strawberry sauce on the firehouse donut. I think I'll try the push pop first but I got a little strawberry sauce on it. I'm going to try to do it like one handed and hopefully not spill that strawberry sauce, strawberry sauce on my uh, red, oh, white t-shirt here. So here we go. Now we're gonna dive into our butterscotch pudding here. And like I said, this is so, so good. I love it so much. And you gotta make sure you get a little bit of the popcorn in each bite. This will probably be my favorite because I already had it and I know I love it. Oh yeah. That is so good. <laughs> now we're gonna crack into one of the firehouse donuts. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to cut it in half. Maybe, nope, not so much. I think I'm just squishing it. So I think I'm gonna have to just grab it like that and we'll take a bite out of it. I'm kind of excited to try a firehouse donut. Kind of reminds me of a pancake puppy, but okay, don't wanna spill the red sauce on my white t-shirt again. So we're gonna eat it like halfway in here. That is so good. It is like a pancake puppy. It's like a uh, cinnamon coated donut with strawberry sauce. Now we're gonna have to try the Tres Leches cupcake here. And I'm gonna try to take these wrappers off. The wrappers are always so difficult. Oh, maybe, maybe. Nope, not gonna happen. Oh, nope, oh, yep. This is gonna take some work. Well, I got it out, but I ended up breaking the cupcake. <laughs> so we're just gonna try it like this. Let me pick it up like this so you can see. Yep. Oh, there you go. See how it's like I turned the light on. But yeah, we're gonna try the uh, Tres Leche cupcake now. I don't know how to eat this. It's kind of like a lot of topping or a lot of uh, icing on top, but okay, we're just gonna go for it. Ooh, that's good too. I got a little bit on my mustache too. <laughs> now it's time for the French silk. Oh yeah. These are so small though, so I might just bite it like that. Oh yeah, that's the way. Just like that. 
And now the chocolate pudding. It's kind of like moving around a little bit. You gotta make sure you get those crispy pearls in there. You gotta get all the crispy pearls in one bite, you know? And of course, we can't forget about these little guys. The chocolate covered strawberries. A little chocolate covered strawberry, don't mind if I do. Looks like the sun is starting to set here, but wow. I am so happy about the view that we got right now. And it's gonna be interesting to see the fireworks from this perspective. I've never seen uh, Disney's Enchantment from the side before. The only times I've ever seen it was actually straight down Main Street. So it's gonna be something interesting, hopefully. Something else that's really cool and definitely worth mentioning, most of these desserts could be found around the Magic Kingdom. So like the Firehouse Donuts you can actually buy at uh, Tony's Town Square, the uh, chocolate little silk pie, I think that's at Casey's, the Push Pop is a dessert that you can get at Cinderella's Royal Table. So you're actually getting a big variety of desserts from all around the Magic Kingdom in one spot. Another cool thing to point out is you can sit here and just watch the people mover go through Tomorrowland and all the lights turn on. Like this is, this is really such an amazing experience. Now we get to just sit back and wait for the fireworks and I cannot wait. It's gonna be such an amazing show. The castle looks beautiful tonight. The skies are beautiful. The sun is just about set and I'm really loving it. As I was sitting at my table, I realized I have something super cool to look forward to because Tinkerbell is literally gonna fly right towards us and I think that is so awesome. I was just sitting there looking at the castle and I was like, wait a second, like Tinkerbell is literally gonna come like flying right down to the Tomorrowland Terrace and I think that is so cool. I'm not too sure if you guys are gonna be able to see it, but right above us you can see the line right here, and if you know, you know. Looks like we're just a couple minutes before the show starts, so we're gonna set up the camera and get ready.
That was amazing. How about Tinkerbell flying so close that you can literally see her waving? Like it was probably, I would say, maybe 20 feet above my head. Honestly, that was so worth it. The firework view was amazing. It lined up a little bit right to the castle, like to the right of the castle. But just being able to sit here, enjoy a beer, drink, and eat some desserts, it's, it's so worth it. It's definitely worth uh, the $114, especially if you're only gonna experience this once. Like, I wouldn't say to do this like on a regular basis, but for a special like event or birthdays, celebrations, this is really something really awesome to do. I asked most of the cast members and they actually start closing down the buffet uh, during the fireworks. Well, they close down half of like the desserts and they let you sit in here for up to like 30 minutes after the fireworks and they still have things that you can actually go up and grab. But I think they put away all the beer and the wine. I think that ends as soon as the fireworks start and it's just really nice. So they don't want to rush anyone out, but I think we're all done here. I mean, we had our fair share of beers and I had some coffee and I tried all the desserts and I love it. Like, this is so much fun. And with that, I think we are done here. What a fun, amazing evening we had here. I had so much fun hanging out at Magic Kingdom. Tomorrow, the Genie app actually starts. So I might be back here at the Magic Kingdom just so I could see all the cool things that are gonna be going on with the Lightning Lane and the Genie Plus and stuff like that. But today, it kind of just seemed like a very busy day and I'm happy we did the firework dessert party because that view is so amazing. Like, honestly, just to have it to the right a little bit and you kind of get this full picture where you get to see everything together i think it's sometimes better than straight on but i hope you enjoyed the video and i enjoyed making it so we'll see you next time bye